of the match. But uh, I think we're going to see an excellent fighter. We've got two good young fighters. All, both of them are world ranked. And uh, you see Matthew Franklin, uh, if you do have color television, in a bright red ring robe with white piping. Matthew Franklin, who is 23 year old, years old, out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And look at the gold LeMay number that threw our monitor off. <laughs> it was so wild. <laughs> Marvin Johnson. That's not Gold LeMay. It's uh, Gold Sequin. And uh, he has a record of 15 wins, no losses. 12 of his victories have been by KOs. Let's go to ring announcer Dave Zinkoff. For the North American Boxing Federation Light Heavyweight title, Judging, Paul Harris, Harold Lederman, referee Ozzy Sadler. In this corner, white trunks with a black stripe from Indianapolis at 175 pound, Marvin Johnson. His opponent from Philadelphia, also 175 pound, red trunks with a white stripe, Matt Franklin. This is the beautiful belt. Hold that, Ozzy, will you, moment? That will be presented to the winner. It will be the light heavyweight champion for North America. Very nice. The belt for the North American Boxing Federation light heavyweight champion. And that title is now vacant as uh, John Conti had been the uh, light heavyweight champion and uh, it's kind of confusing as how the Victor Galindez uh, ended up uh, winning the championship and uh, vacating that title. Uh, it's so, sort of confusing to me. There's a lot of things that happen in boxing. Bob, maybe you can well, elaborate on it. What happened was that uh, John Conte, of course, from England, was the world light heavyweight champion, and he was supposed to fight well Angel Coelho in Monaco. And uh, the fight was all set. Two days before the fight, Conte decided that he didn't want to leave England and didn't want the fight. Now, this was a mandatory bout put across by the World Boxing Association that it had, he had to fight this fight, so Conte refused to go and fight two days before the fight, so his title was stripped from him. So Victor Galendez, I guess, uh, ended up uh, in a match winning the title. He was the North American champion, and he uh, ended up in a match with, and became the title, uh, the world champion, and that vacated the North American title, which is now being fought for by Mike Franklin in the red trunks and Marvin Johnson in the white. 12 rounds for the North American Boxing Federation Light Heavyweight Championship in white trunks from Indianapolis, Indiana, is Marvin Johnson. And in the red trunks, Matthew Franklin out of Philadelphia. Last time here on Prism against Johnny Townsend, Marvin Johnson was most unimpressive, although uh, he did win in 10 rounds. Johnson the puncher, but Matt Franklin the boxer. Southpaw style of Marvin Johnson. Last out on April 22nd, KO Tom Bethea of Indianapolis. And he really hit him. I mean, uh, Bethea was hit from a punch, and I think it took him two days to recover from it. Very impressive fight that was on national television. And the other bout we spoke about against Johnny Townsend here on Prism on February 21st, a winner in 10 rounds. Another interesting side note to this bout here, the winner must defend its title within 90 days. 
Well, they'll be stripped of the title. North American uh, light heavyweight champion. So it's in a, in a, in a sense, it's almost like a, a elimination bout for the title. So even though the title will be awarded to the winner of this bout, 90 days from in between now and 90 days from now, it must be defended to against another one of the top contenders in that division. Matt Franklin rated as one of the top 15 light heavyweights in the world. It's Marvin Johnson. Johnson rated number four, if I'm not mistaken, by the uh, WBA. His record's only 15 and 0 with 12 KOs, but that's his professional record. He's had an awful lot of amateur bouts, Marvin Johnson. was one of the best amateur fighters in his division in the country, or even in the world, for that matter. You can bet both fighters will be in the peak of condition for this bout. 15 seconds to go to the end of round one of a scheduled 12 rounder. Marvin Johnson, much the aggressor in that first round. He kept plotting after Matt Franklin. And Franklin, uh, but, uh, anyway, had an awful lot of trouble with uh, Townsend here. Uh, uh, Joe May in uh, Wilmington. Oh. Because uh, it was not his last fight against Eddie Turner, which was on, of course, that uh, benefit card for uh, Tyrone Everett. But back in uh, April of this year, he fought Joe May in Wilmington, who was a heavyweight, who is a heavyweight, rather. And May has a very plodding style and a very heavy puncher. And uh, Matt Franklin did win the decision in 10, but uh, had an awful lot of trouble with the... Uh, uh, straight ahead plotting style of Joe May, which uh, Marvin Johnson uh, has exhibited in the first round here tonight. So it'll be interesting to see just exactly how Franklin will be able to handle that same style, which he had so much trouble with back in April. You saw Champ Cheney, the trainer of Marvin Johnson, step out of the ring. Marvin Johnson in the white trunks against Matthew Franklin. Southpaw style of Johnson. Matt Franklin, obviously the better boxer of the two, but the hitter, no question about that, is Marvin Johnson. Johnson uh, has that plotting style, but he. He likes to have a fighter come out of him, where he likes to counter as much as possible. He seems that as much as uh, trouble that Franklin has had with that straight ahead quality style, then I think Johnson will really go to the attack and, and not wait like he usually does and have the encounter. Think about Marvin Johnson as he has only 15 professional fights, but he has had 65 wins as an amateur, 55 of those KOs. Oh, good uppercut there by Marvin Johnson, but Franklin keeps coming in. Scoring there against Marvin Johnson. Johnson backs away. Good combination of fat of, of Franklin. Oh, good solid right there too, Bobby. Johnson keeps snapping back, or rather uh, Franklin keeps snapping back Johnson's head every time he tries to throw a combination. Oh, good exchange. Marvin Johnson and not Franklin. Good uppercut. He's coming through from the bottom. Coming upstairs, coming from underneath is Marvin Johnson, and I think he's uh, bloody Matt Franklin's nose a little bit. We're seeing lots of action here in round number two. They're going in the closing seconds of the second round. Boy, both fighters going toe to toe. 
20 seconds to go in round number two. Oh, solid combination there, but Franklin wasn't phased. Oh, that's the end of round two. Franklin very happy with that one and puts his hands in the air. He's single up, but he's got, his nose is bleeding now from a good... In Milan, Italy, he scored an eight-round decision over lefty Mate Parlov of Yugoslavia. At the time, Parlov was rated number two by the WPBC. Ready for round three, and the way the leather has been flying, highly unlikely will make it through 12. Marvin Johnson, undefeated in 15 bouts, 12 of them by KO. Ooh, he took the left hook to the, to the chin there, but then he scored with a good left leg combination to the body. Oh, oh, Johnson working away on Matt Franklin, who's in heavy trouble. Oh, and Franklin laughs at Marvin Johnson after he took five or six of his best pops. Oh, he's coming from, he's coming from underneath uh, Marvin Johnson and Senators Nick and Joe Belfiore telling Franklin to back off a bit. Oh, he has really oh, come from under here. He's really popping here. Johnson going to the head of Matt Franklin, and Franklin, after taking a couple good shots, countering himself. He is taking, uh, Franklin is taking some excellent uppercuts at, from Johnson and that has uh, bloodied his nose. Ozzy Sadler, the third man in the ring, has happened to do absolutely nothing so far. It was another good left uppercut. His left has been able to score better than the right lead he has. And Franklin counter. Good right by Matt Franklin at the chin of Marvin Johnson. Oh, good left hook by Johnson. Another good left, Bob. That one got through. We could see it right here. 35 seconds to go in round three. Franklin scored with a solid right. Another right. Boy, I'll tell you, when they said this is a dream match, the puncher versus the boxer, they weren't whistling when they said it, because this has been a very good bout so far, and we've only ended round three. Franklin scoring, and then Johnson comes back. Oh, the left. I tell you, Coach, if, <laughs> this is a tough one to score, and we're only into the third round. That's it, the end of round three. Oh, the fans love this one, Bobby. I'm going to keep a running scorecard on here. I've got it 5-4 Johnson in the first round, 5-4 Franklin in the second, 5-4 Johnson in this round. Well, they're going to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe and highly unlikely <laughs> either, either boxer will be around for 12. And every punch that John, uh, Franklin throws, whether it lands or not, this crowd has just gone crazy. One of the more exciting bouts we've had on prison. Both fighters stand there throwing a great exchange, and then the other one sits back and throws an exchange, and believe me, the crowd is right on their feet with every exchange, no matter who's throwing them. Good left job, and now Johnson goes uppercut city to the head of Matt Franklin. See for yourself the name of this game is going to be conditioning.
Johnson has a habit of walking into Franklin. Oh, what a left by Johnson there. Oh, oh really snapped Franklin's head back and bleeding rather profusely from the nose. Half around the goal, now four. And Franklin takes the shots by Johnson for about the first 75 seconds and then comes on the modern stage. Boy, the he ever. Both uh, fighters have thrown so many punches that, you know, they look almost uh, punched out by the fourth round. Johnson in the white trunks. Franklin tries to go uppercut. Left and right, but Franklin hits by oh. Johnson. As Johnson oh, hit oh, it oh, oh, he got two right. right. Johnson trying to hang on. He allowed it. Five seconds to go. That's it. And both fighters can't hit it after the bell. And listen to this crowd for Matt Franklin. Boy, did he unload a right hand on the jaw of Marvin Johnson, knocked his mouthpiece out, and then come back with a good left hook and another right hook, and had Johnson in deep trouble. Of course, the bell the end round number four was what saved Johnson at that time. Let's take a look at some of that action. There's the right hand there that Ooh. knocked the mouthpiece away from Marvin Johnson. Another good right. Good right there. Left. Johnson vainly trying to hang on to tie up Franklin. That's when the bell went there and neither fighter heard it because the crowd was really responding to that exchange. 24-year-old Marvin Johnson undefeated in 15 pro bouts and in heavy trouble as we prepare for round five. That right. one you have to score in favor of Matt Franklin. No question about that. Let's see if Marvin Johnson has any punching power left. Ozzie Sadler, the referee, did not hear the bell that ended that round, and uh, Franklin able to get a couple more shots in, but not enough to hurt Marvin Johnson. I don't think anybody heard the bell. Everybody was yelling and screaming for Franklin to put him away. And... Boy, it's exchange for exchange, three for three, three for three. Franklin exhibiting good straight left-right jabs. Johnson favoring the hook. Here's the Johnson found some second win, Bob, but Franklin has, has been his style through the first four rounds. Taking the best shots by Marvin Johnson and then poured it on the last minute, minute and 30. Big solid hook by Matt Franklin to the chin of Marvin Johnson. Oh, oh there's good good. change by Johnson. Johnson. Left right combinations. Right above us, directly above us. Oh. Can you imagine the condition that both these athletes have to be in to exchange so many punches and to receive so many? 
They have had to train long and hard for this. Two and two. The left hooks by Johnson scored to Matt Franklin's jaw. There's a right hook that scored. Franklin is still there, still taking Johnson's best shot. 30 seconds to go in round five. Franklin with that sneaky, crisp right hook gets it in on Marvin Johnson's jaw. Oh, two good left side left, just teeing off. Well, I have to say that despite Franklin winning the previous round, I both men already into the center of the ring, waved back by referee Ozzy Sadler. Round six. Franklin, uh, you remember, lost that real controversial decision to Eddie Gregory back in... Uh, March, I believe it was. But he came back and defeated Joe May, we mentioned earlier, and that Ed Savage Turner. But he's had three losses, and all three losses have been really controversial ones. So if it were not to the tune of a judge's pencil, we could have two undefeated fighters going after this title right here tonight. Matt, Matt Franklin, who was trained by Nick and Joe Blanchiori, bleeding again around the nose as Marvin Johnson tries to zero in. Oh, there was a good left by Johnson that scored it. Franklin weighed in and waited into it. Well, Franklin starting a counter punch and doing it well. Oh, good left by Johnson to the head of Matt Franklin. Oh, good. Left jab got through. Right uppercut just glances. Hook, hook right and left uppercut by Marvin Johnson. Franklin's right eye is swelling somewhat underneath. Johnson is throwing with such intensity on a couple of occasions. He's going right off both feet. Franklin starting to cover up with 35 seconds to go in round six. Jackson mm. with a good left hook. Saw a lot of leather in the Briscoe bout, but it only came from one side. Here, both guys going at it. <laughs> Although on this round, oh, Matt Franklin taking a lot of punishment. Johnson just snapping Franklin's head back with that left uppercut and that right hook. Just snapping his head back and forth like a speed bag. Taken here on prison, Bob, did we not? It was September 14th. Round number seven of the scheduled 12-rounder for the North American Boxing Federation Light Heavyweight Championship. Matt Franklin of Philadelphia and Marvin Johnson from Indianapolis, Indiana. Matt Franklin in the red trunks, Johnson in the right, white. Johnson's really been the uh, aggressor throughout the, the seven rounds. Uh, and Franklin has countered very well. When he has won a round or when he has uh, scored more on the offense than Johnson is from the counter, from counter punching. But Johnson's been the, the uh, 
the stalker, he's the one that's been going after Franklin right from the opening bell of each round, and he's the one that's been wading in. Southpaw. Oh, it's two left right combination. It snuck through for sure there. Doesn't do much at all with his right, Bobby. No, his left has been his most powerful punch tonight anyway. Uses the right occasionally to set up an uppercut or hook. Of course, he is a, has that southpaw style, so... Actually, that's where his power lies, is in that left half. That's what I talked about, Bob, with Johnson going off his feet. He walked into that one, Bob. Yeah. But they're just uh, straight left-right jabs, but they're not really uh, hurting Johnson, but they're keeping him at bay. seconds to go in round seven. They're telling a tough fight now for Matt Franklin as Marvin Johnson scores with three straight left hooks. That's it. That's the end of round seven. And next week, a Junior Wallerweight World Championship bout featuring uh, the throne champion Wilfredo Benitez. Now we're into round number eight. Ooh, good, good right hook by uh, Franklin. Uh, stop Marvin Johnson in his grasp. Another right score. He's gonna have to come alive because he, out of my estimation, he hasn't won the last three rounds. Those have been all Marvin Johnson. Johnson walked into an uppercut there, but boy, blows away with two left hooks. Trying to set up Matt Franklin for the KO. Marvin Johnson just 24 years of age and Matthew Franklin 23 so both fighters very relatively young and uh, on their climb to the world boxing title and the winner of this of course is going to be that much closer because he's going to be the North American champ. Good uppercut there by Franklin, but uh, didn't even face Marvin Johnson. At least it didn't appear that way. Franklin's come alive a little bit more in this round. Three prior rounds, Johnson has been giving, gave, dealt out most of the punishment, but now Franklin is starting to counter his own. And Took a good pop there. Oh, oh two good pops. Good combination by Marvin Johnson to the head of Matt Franklin. Neither fighter really has been that to being close to being knocked down. Although we had Johnson in heavy trouble, if I'm not mistaken, in round six. This is the end of the round. Franklin's scoring a couple there, Bob. Oh! He's doing something there. They still the old uh, 
John L. Sullivan routine. You're just standing there and uh, I'm trying to unload that right hand. He says, come on, Johnson, hit me with your best left. And I'm like, it's not gauging me. Oh, scoring right in the round as Matthew Franklin. Finding that second wind as we have intermission before round nine. Good late comeback again, Bobby. Well, let's take a look at that John Hell Sullivan route style of Matt Franklin. There he is, right there. He's back to his camera. He's just standing there, flat footed, took two good left right combinations to the face from Marvin Johnson, and then he just right at the bell scored with two with a real good solid right hand there he is it's John L. Sullivan returns Matt Franklin returns Matt Franklin and Marvin Johnson for the North American Boxing Federation Light Heavyweight Championship. Round nine. You think with Franklin's style that uh, he's more effective away from the fighter, not that good close infighting which Johnson seems to really favor. That swelling under the right eye of Matt Franklin hasn't really gotten any worse than it had when it first started back in round number three. The advantage in arm reach, I would have to say, goes to Matt Franklin, but has not been able to score that effectively to the the chin or head of Marvin Johnson. Well, occasionally gets a quick rip in from shorter distance. Johnson's trunks are bloodstained. Of course, that's coming from the nose of Matt Franklin. Oh, Matt Franklin has just hit Johnson with about seven or eight short ones, but didn't have a lot of zip to them. Maybe it's Marvin Johnson running out of gas. We'll see. He might be all punched out here. He's throwing so much leather. Well, that could very well be the case, Bobby. That particular style. Good hook that time by Matt Franklin. Oh, oh. Johnson. He wasn't too punched out because he saw him three solid left hooks to Matt Franklin. But Matt Franklin wasn't even staggered. And they were solid punches. Oh, he scored to the head of Marvin Johnson, did not fuck on there. That quick, sneaky right. Johnson walked in another sneaky right. Oh, oh, and Johnson counters. Good right. Marvin Johnson, Bobby, might be running out of legs. Matt Franklin trying to send away Marvin Johnson. Just seconds remaining. That's it's it. The end of round nine. Johnson again late in the round, running out of gas, and Matt Franklin coming on. I think the one time there when Johnson went back that you saw Matt Franklin hold on his glove as a shake because I think it was more of a push than a punch. And he slept as we can pick up on it here on the replay. Lansing Bowl, there's a good right left by, and another left by Johnson in the right hand that come through and scored, but there's another good left uppercut. Johnson has really got that left hook and left uppercut through on Franklin all throughout this bout, but not strong enough or not heavy enough to really put the way the 
the fellow from Philadelphia. Round number 10 coming up. I would think Matt Franklin is going to have to really come out alive and, and win these last three rounds in order to gain this North American title because my estimation, I think Johnson's ahead on points. Well, I don't think he's that far behind, Bobby, and he starts aggressively here in round 10. Whoever well, wins the ball, well, I'll tell you, we've seen an excellent boxing card. Hey, Alan Johnson took one and gave one. Boom. Each fighter toe to toe. That's boom. You're in round 10. We've seen Franklin take Johnson's best left hands, but we haven't seen Johnson take too many of the good right hands that Franklin's been known for. to the midsection by Matt Franklin to Marvin Johnson, but then Johnson gets out of the cocoon and unloads good, vicious uppercuts into Matt Franklin's chin. I don't think that landed, but that right really hand did. Franklin starting to use the left to keep Johnson at bay to set up that right hand. Maybe he should have been doing from the early rounds. Blood starting to trickle from uh, Matt Franklin's nose again. Oh! Great hook! Oh, the few that Marvin Johnson has thrown all night. He's relied on that left of his, but that time he got a right for it. There's some combinations coming through on Franklin's part. Oh, man, what a fight. 30 seconds to go in round 10. Well, Franklin bleeding from the nose again, trying to use the ropes for a brief respite. Oh, another left hook. That's it, that's the end of round 10. <laughs> 11th round coming up. What a fight that we've seen here tonight. This could even be a draw. Franklin scoring with rights, but then Marvin Johnson comes back again. Referee Ozzie Sadler separates both fighters. What condition both these fighters are in. That leather has popped right from the opening round. Johnson with a good exchange there, a good combination. Not a good right. The chin of Marvin Johnson. Behind us, yelling at Matt Franklin to get off the ropes. That's where he's been getting in most of his trouble throughout the boat, is when he's been hanging on the ropes. When he gets out in the center ring, that's when he scores, and he'd be able to handle it, uh, Marvin Johnson. Johnson's his most effective self against when he has a fighter on the ropes. Johnson looks tired and is 
get a hit, but then gets a left-right-left combination in. But Franklin somehow still has a lot left. This is unreal. Oh. 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 What a fight, Moroni in the 11. Got another one to go if they make it. Just, Just under, under a minute ago, round 11. Johnson still trying to get that left hook or left upper cut in. Oh! Johnson took three, four, five good pops from Matt Franklin. And rolling. In heavy trouble. Matt Franklin has Marvin Johnson in deep trouble. Ten seconds to go in the round. Referee Ozzy Sander thought he had heard the bell. Hold on. Hold on. I knew what happened. Isaac got turned around. Thought that was the end of the round. The 11th round, but now this is the 12th and final round. This is where it'll all be decided, I would think. For the North American Boxing Federation Light Heavyweight Championship. Matt Franklin starts out aggressively as he ended round 11. Oh. Well, this has been about the worst beating I'm sure that Marvin Johnson has ever taken. At the same, same oh. for Matt Franklin. Johnson in deep trouble. He's hanging on. Matt Franklin has Marvin Johnson in trouble. Is right. Oh. His right eye is closed. I think he might be out on his feet. Yes, he's out. Mark Franklin. I think Mark Franklin has just knocked him out. with well-wishers. And this place is going wild. What a finish. Unbelievable. I'll tell you, let's take a look at that again. Matt Franklin really came alive in this last round, and he just... I believe Marvin Johnson was out on his feet even before he went down on the canvas. He was just hanging on. There he is, right there. He's got no. That right hand of Matt Franklin proved to be the downfall of Marvin Johnson. His there was a good uppercut there, Bobby. Follow with the right cross. Johnson has turned around. Oh, a there's a left. left. Picks off the right. That's when he had it. That, that left, I think, was the one that really finished. There you can see him just. He's all on his feet now. Not much there. Oh, There's good a good left. left. Snap left hook. Oh, oh there left was up the uppercut. Right. That was it. right. There and it is. Going, holding on, and going down. down. Look at all the arms, and everybody was in Matt Franklin's corner. There you see the the, the corner of uh, Marvin Johnson as the seconds are working him over to make sure reviving him. And Franklin, Bobby, assist. Apparently overcome also, overcome also. Trying to clear the ring of. Uh... 
Wolf fighter. There he is. Now he's up and dancing. Little shuffle from Matthew Franklin, who is now the North American Boxing Federation middleweight champion with a knockout over Marvin Johnson, previously undefeated, ranked fourth in the world by the WBA and WBC, world-class fighter, who had never been knocked out, never been beaten in 15 professional bouts. Oh, what an ending, I'll tell you. I, don't, I had Matt Franklin already tucked away and buried, and I was giving it to Marvin Johnson, but believe me, uh, Matt Franklin sure proved me to be uh, wrong in that decision. He came right out and he just put Marvin Johnson away in the 12th round. There's the announcer, Dave Zinkoff, announcing. By a KO, one minute, 12 seconds of the 12th round, Matt Franklin! Matt Franklin. One minute and 12 seconds of the 12th round is all it took to, to win that North American belt for Matt Franklin. There he is. Three, you're gonna go up, go up, go ahead. Matt, uh, how did you have it left after going 11 tough rounds? My first time ever with 12. And I tell you, man, I'm very proud. I'm ready to fight Victor Glendale for the North American Championship. But I tell you one thing, I'm being top, sh tip top shape next time, man. I'm sure you were in tip top shape this time. I was. I trained about two months. I worked with the best heavyweights for it. Marty Capasso. I worked with Joe Gosselin. I worked with uh, Jimmy Hayes, one of my trainers. trainers. And I did really good, man. And I'm proud of everybody from South Philly. I'm bringing the North American Championship here. And I'm going to keep it here. I'm going to keep on defending. And then I'm going to go for the World's Light Heavyweight Championship. Light Heavyweights, watch out. I want Eddie Gregory. Thank you. North American Boxing Federation Light Heavyweight Champion, Matt Franklin, winning on a... TKO, not a TKO, a knockout at 112 of the 12th round. Incredible. Well, I'll tell you, uh, you heard him. He wants Eddie Gregory again. He was really upset with that decision that was given to Eddie Gregory here in Philadelphia. He wants him again. He wants that. He's going to keep that title here in Philadelphia, and he is one happy fellow as you listen to him. And uh, believe me, he did it in fine style as a true champion with a TKO. I have to say, uh, we noticed that uh, Marvin Johnson is on his feet, Bobby, and uh, as Champ Cheney uh, is flying the ice bag, <laughs> a tremendous finish to an incredible fight. And, you know, we talked about it throughout the fight. It seemed that halfway through the round, we would find Matt Franklin coming on. I know, and, and I, I had him uh, put away, buried, wrapped up in the closet. Marvin Johnson's going to be the new North American champion. But believe me, he came out in that 12th round, and he just laid a couple of right hands onto the, uh, Marvin Johnson. But I did mention the fact that uh, Franklin took some best shots that Marvin Johnson had to offer with that left hook and was still standing. And Marvin or Matt Franklin never got a good right hand, which he has, through to Marvin Johnson throughout the fight. But uh, he, uh, he really proved it in the 12th round when he did land it few times. There you see Marvin Johnson. He's well, look, still wobbling. Look at those legs. They're really wobbling. Well, it, it should be. 12 rounds with, of, of, of hard punching. I mean, he gave out as much punishment as he took. And uh, of course, he took a little bit more. And uh, Matt Franklin's the new North American junior heavyweight champion. Or light heavyweight champion, rather. And an incredible finish. And we must say, in all candor, it had to be the best fight that we've ever telecast here on Prism. By far. <laughs> well, I think what we're going to do is wrap it up because everything after this has to be anticlimactic on an evening in which uh, Penny Briscoe uh, won a decision as Sammy Barr unable to come out, I think, for round eight. And Marty Monroe, who was another undefeated area boxer, although he lives in Los Angeles, won his 13th as he defeated Joe Golston in 10 tough rounds. Tony Tassone out of Habertown uh, won his ninth bout without a loss as he took uh, Carlos Brigg of Chester and a uh, young fellow from the uh, Upper Derby area, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> 
Picotti. Picotti. Okay, but my, Mike Picotti uh, ruined the uh, pro boxing debut of Donald Leary. On behalf of uh, color analyst Bob Taylor, this is Hugh Cannon saying thank you very much for being with us for the North American Boxing Federation Light Heavyweight Championship. One in a grueling 12th round knockout by Matt Franklin of Philadelphia over previously undefeated Marvin Johnson of Indianapolis, Indiana. Do have a good night. Our next sporting event on Prism will be on Friday night as the Phillies take on the San Francisco Giants from Veterans Stadium. This has been a PRISM sports presentation.